Hello everybody and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha and in this video we are going to talk about the new format of our PD test. So let's begin. So let's begin with what happens before the test. The test is actually for two hours, but you're not going to go there exactly at the test time. You will be there half an hour earlier or sometimes if you are the beginner, if you are the first time test taker, you might want to go 45 minutes earlier. Now let's assume that you are there in the test center, all the administrative, all the registration process will take place. So after you enter the test hall, they will allow you to sit on a computer, your own computer, and everybody else will also be on the similar setting. Uh, in the first phase of the test, they'll log you in. They here means the invigilator, the people who are monitoring your test. They're going to give you a designated seat uh, after you sit there, they'll log you into the computer using their password and their username. Uh, once they log you in, you're on your own. You're supposed to take your test now. You see this username and password, but you're not going to enter that. The invigilator will enter it, okay? You have to test your microphone. You have to test your headset, okay? As you go ahead and do it, make sure that you, are, you can listen to your own voice and your volume, the volume is not too loud and neither very low. Uh, and when you click next, you get a personal introduction section. Now, because this personal introduction section is not marked, be careful. You do not want to practice personal introduction before the test. You don't want to go ahead and spend your time doing this irrelevant task. So all you can do is say, my name is Anusha and that's it. You just click next, okay? Uh, in fact, you don't have to even say that, but I do recommend saying just um, my name is and then your name, okay? So you go and click next, that's it. The two hour test will have four modules, speaking, writing, reading, and listening, and there's no break in between. So you will have to sit there for two hours taking the test, and if you do choose to take a break because you're exhausted, that time will be deducted from your actual test. So you will miss some marks if you go outside to the toilet or anywhere else just to sip water. Uh, so I do recommend not going anywhere for that two hour test. If you have to wear a mask, please comply with that requirement. Otherwise you won't be allowed to take the test. So when you wear the mask, don't worry, your voice will not be distorted. You're, you don't have to speak louder to make sure that the microphone gets your voice. Um, just use your normal speed, normal pace, okay? Now, let's jump right into our first module, which is speaking. In the speaking section, you've got five tasks and all five tasks will definitely be there. You, there is no option uh, like in other exams where you will get this task, you'll not get this task. So all these tasks will definitely appear in your test. Be prepared with everything here. Uh, the first task is read aloud. In the read aloud section, you are given, uh, let me show you here that you are given some kind of a passage from real life uh, it could be an article, it could be an extract from a novel. Uh, you'll be given that and all you need to do is read it out aloud, okay? It's not loud. Make sure that you are not speaking on top of your voice. You're just speaking enough for the computer to hear you and not even the next person. You don't want to disturb others and you don't want others to disturb you. So if it happens that when you are speaking, the other person is too loud, you can also complain by raising your hand. Now let's move on to the format of read aloud. You can see here that you are going to get six to seven passages. What does that mean? That means you'll get one passage, you record it, then click next, you'll get another passage and that will happen six to seven times. So don't be exhausted, like don't say, oh how many read alouds am I getting, okay, because that's the test format. So as you go ahead, your one task is done, another task will come. You can't go back to check, you can't go back to correct yourself, okay? Once you click next and you're on to the next one, uh, it's just done. You can't go back and change anything. 
Now this question gives us marks towards speaking and reading but remember because this is our speaking task uh, it's more focused on speaking rather than reading okay. For reading we have a different module where you have to get most of the answers right however in this question we focus more on speaking rather than reading. To begin with you will have uh, some preparation time of 35 to 40 seconds. Uh, do not go out of breath while practicing. You must have enough energy in order to move forward. So if you get all your energy out in the first question, you won't have sufficient energy for the next ones. So make sure that you are not just misutilizing your energy in the first questions, okay? After the preparation time, you will hear a beep tone and after that beep tone, you'll have to speak. Uh, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of a read aloud passage here. Uh, I'll have 40 seconds to read the passage but certainly the questions are not as big for us to speak for 40 seconds so we do recommend going lesser than that okay if you can't finish any passage in 40 seconds that means you're too slow and your fluency will go down your actual mass marks will also be affected so if you see this passage here i'll have some practice time now Tesla's theoretical work formed the basis of modern alternating current electric power systems. Thomas Edison promised him almost $1 million in today's money to undertake motor and generator improvement. So this way I'm going to practice, okay? I'll just do a short clip here uh, to give you a fair idea of how we should speak. So in terms of the first sentence, Tesla's theoretical work formed the basis of modern alternating current electric power systems. So this is the speed you need to acquire and be proficient at it. If you are a little slower, then I would suggest speeding up. And if you are fast enough without clarity, I would say slow down. But if you have clear voice and your words are clear enough, uh, even if you are fast, it's going to be fine, okay? So I'll give you that demonstration of the fast and clear. Tesla theoretical work from the basis of modern alternating current electric power systems. So this is the way, if you are fast yet clear, you will still get 90. However, if you can't be clear, just slow down a little bit, okay? Uh, now this question, after that question, we move on to the next one. That's called repeat sentence. Um, in this repeat sentence questions, many people say there are long sentences and I'm not able to repeat everything. I would recommend try your best when you are practicing. Don't just give up before going for the test. Try as hard as you can and on the test day, perform your best. Don't just feel like, oh, this, is, this task is very hard, it's tedious. I'm going to fail. Don't think, don't have that mindset. Uh, your mindset should always be positive that, okay, if it's giving me 20 words, I'm going to repeat 10 words, but perfectly. Um, example, if they say uh, history has repeated itself, but this, I, I'm just giving a short example here. History has repeated itself, but you did not understand the word itself. So just say history has repeated. Okay. Um, but if you can't get any word, then I, I do recommend practicing a lot. Listen to uh, podcast, songs, even movies any tier series and improve your speaking, improve your listening that way. Uh, next, uh, in this question, we'll have 10 to, two, well, 10 to 12 sentences. So 10 to 12 sentences means there's a lot of sentences coming. You'll have to click next a lot of times. Um, and once you click next, you understand that the sentence has gone. You can't change uh, anything about it now. So whatever you perform, perform the best the first time, okay? Then you click next and you'll get 10 to 12 of them. And it says, you'll hear a sentence. Please repeat the sentence exactly as you hear it. You'll hear the sentence only once. So do not expect that they'll play it twice or you can't, you can't even ask them to play it twice, okay? Because it's a computerized test. The third question type is describe image. In this question, you will have three to four images and all these three to four images can be a pie chart, a bar graph, any kind of 
people staying there, uh, there are no words, sometimes there are a lot of words, a lot of information and you're confused which one to use and which one to not use. Um, so I'll, do, I'll not be giving you all details here because otherwise this video is going to be too long but just a glimpse of every question okay now describe image three to four images and it only gives you speaking marks remember i told you that in read aloud you will have reading marks i forgot to tell you that in repeat sentence you will also get listening marks okay so the first two question types are important because it gives you twofold marks and the marks are integrated so actual marks goes towards speaking reading and listening uh, but in terms of describe image, the marks only stays for listening, for speaking, I'm sorry, for speaking. Um, in terms of preparation time, you'll have 25 seconds to prepare. So all those 25 seconds, you can watch whatever is given on your screen and you can see that there's an image. It has this and that, heading, words, numbers, and all those things. And once you are done, you can use a template to go ahead and speak. Now, in, if you are our student, we'll give you a template in class. So make sure that you attend every day. And if you are somebody else who's preparing for on your own, you can also use a template there. We actually have a PTE kit. Uh, and in that PTE kit, we've got all the format, all the structures, and it's for a minimum price. So if you don't want to take classes, but um, like you are self motivated, and you, you have that knowledge for the test, but you still want some guidance, some like, proven tactics, proven techniques, then call us, message us to get that PTE toolkit um, for a minimum price. Uh, anyway, let's move on and uh, go ahead with uh, the timing. Uh, practice time is 25 seconds. Then we've got some uh, recording time, which is for 40 seconds. Do not speak for all 40 seconds uh, because it's not necessary that a picture does not need 40 seconds to be, you know, the, it won't have a lot of information. And even if you do speak for 40, 10 to 12 sentences. So 10 to 12 sentences means there's a lot of sentences coming. You'll have to click next a lot of times. Um, and once you click next, you understand that the sentence has gone. You can't change uh, anything about it now. So whatever you perform, perform the best the first time. Okay. Then you click next and you'll get 10 to 12 of them. And it says, you'll hear a sentence. Please repeat the sentence exactly as you hear it. You'll hear the sentence only once. So do not expect that they'll play it twice or you can't you can't even ask them to play it twice okay because it's a computerized test the third question type is describe image in this question you will have three to four images and all these three to four images can be a pie chart a bar graph any kind of people staying there uh, there are no words sometimes there are a lot of words a lot of information and you're confused which one to use and which one to not use now describe image three to four images and it only gives you speaking marks remember i told you that in read aloud you will have reading marks i forgot to tell you that in repeat sentence you will also get listening marks okay so the first two question types are important because it gives you twofold marks and the marks are integrated so actual marks goes towards speaking, reading and listening. Uh, but in terms of describe image, the marks only stays for speaking. Um, in terms of preparation time, you'll have 25 seconds to prepare. So all those 25 seconds, you can watch whatever is given on your screen and you can see that there's an image. It has this and that, heading, words, numbers, and all those things. And once you are done, you can use a template to go ahead and speak. Now, in, if you are our student, we'll give you a template in class. So make sure that you attend every day. And if you are somebody else who's preparing for on your own, you can also use a template there. We actually have a PTE kit. Uh, and in that PTE kit, we've got all the format, all the structures, and it's for a minimum price. So if you don't want to take classes, but um, like you are self motivated, and you, you have that knowledge for the test, but you still want some guidance, some like, proven tactics, proven techniques, then call us, message us to get that 
BTE toolkit um, for a minimum price. Uh, anyway, let's move on and uh, go ahead with uh, the timing. Uh, practice time is 25 seconds. Then we've got some uh, recording time, which is for 40 seconds. Do not speak for all 40 seconds uh, because it's not necessary that a picture does not need 40 seconds to be, you know, the, it won't have a lot of information. And even if you do speak for 40 seconds, you might hesitate a lot, which is the last thing to do here. And any hesitations will count to, towards less marks, okay? All right, now after describe image, retail lecture, there will be a lecture, obviously. You will have to retell that lecture. An audio will be played. You will need to take notes from that audio and then again use a template to speak. Same thing for the template. If you are our student, you'll get it in the class. And if not, then you can buy our toolkit. Every strategy, every structure will be taught there. And um, we make sure that you are ready after watching that whole video, that you are ready for the test. Um, in terms of timing, we've got uh, 10 seconds to prepare. I won't say this is like proper 10 seconds to actually prepare, but they give you some buffering time so that you're ready for the recording to start. Uh, speaking plus listening marks. Uh, be careful, listening marks means you might lose marks if your content is not accurate. Uh, another thing is the number of tasks. You will get one to two questions only. It's not a very difficult task to be honest, but you do make sure that your pronunciation is correct. If it is not, then the computer will take it otherwise. For example, if you have a word like balance, but you are saying balance, so balance balance computer will not recognize it as the right word okay and hence you will get less marks in listening um so yeah i think i've summed it up uh, and do click next as soon as you finish if you stay there without clicking next even if you are done speaking and you're just sitting there for it to be to click next it's not going to happen. You actually manually have to click next. Uh, the last question type in our speaking module is answer short questions. And it's actually a very interesting GK, general knowledge kind of questions. They'll ask you, what is the opposite of top? Actually, that was one of my questions in the test. What is the opposite of top and obviously bottom? Uh, what is the opposite of vertical, horizontal? So if you again missed, uh, mistakenly say mm, horizontal or horizon and then hesitate, uh, that will also give you less marks. Um, then, oh yes, uh, preparation time is nil. That means you won't get any time to think of a question and prepare it. Uh, just need to click next. Um, as soon as you speak, there's no beep tone. Uh, number of tasks in answer short questions, only five to six. So it's gonna be a very quick test, everyone. So all in all, in the speaking section, you have to maintain fluency clarity, pronunciation, and uh, also be confident. If you are not confident and if you sh start shaking or, you know, get distracted, that's not what the computer would like to hear. Even if your voice is shivering, like, uh, 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 um, then it's obviously not native-like, okay? So be confident, build that confidence if you don't have it already. Uh, now moving on to our next module, uh, which is writing. Uh, there's no break in any module between any module whatsoever. So as you are done with uh, the speaking module, the last question, answer short question, you will get writing. In writing, we just have two tasks, two question types. And the first question type is summarize written text. I'll show you how it looks like, but let's go into the format first. Summarize written text and in short, we say SWT. In summarize written text, we'll be given a passage, again, from a real life situation, real life author. They haven't prepared the questions on their own. They just extract it from various resources. So you see that and um, the passage in front of you gives you some message. Um, you will have to summarize what they said, okay? There will be certain techniques, certain 
ways to solve this. Um, so that will be in the toolkit and also in the, in the uh, real uh, classes, we'll provide that technique. Uh, summarize written text, only one to two questions. So if you get one and go to the next question, you might see another question type. You might see an essay. Okay, so don't be surprised when you just get one. Uh, and the maximum is two. This question time, you will have writing and reading marks. Uh, so again, if you are weak in reading, uh, you might want to take a lot of advantage from this question type. You, you want to get full marks from summarized written text. Um, there's one particular criteria which all of us must know before attempting the test, and that's in summarized written text, it has to be only one sentence if it's more than one sentence then the form will be incorrect and you will get literally zero uh, so just tiny mistake like instead of writing 75 if you write 76 no matter what good how good your quality is the answer is perfect still you'll get zero because the form is incorrect so when it comes to the word count, people also get confused here. There's another question time I'll deal with in the listening section. It has a uh, different word count and this is different. So be careful. This is five to 75 words, five to 75 words. So can't write 76, can't write four, but anything in between is okay. Uh, and it has 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It's a lot of time. I do tell my students that in 10 minutes, you are even able to go out and take and drink tea, you know. Um, unfortunately, we can't go out and drink tea, but that's how much time they have provided. Uh, it's a lot of spare time. You can relax, check everything. Don't forget to proofread your answer because this is a writing test. You don't have to have very fast typing. Well, mm, yeah, fair typing, like you're 10 minutes, you know. So in 10 minutes, you have to write one sentence in between 5 and 75 words. So imagine, try yourself how long you will take. Anyway, so after summarize written text, we have another question type, which is write essay. Uh, we don't have to fear a lot when it comes to write writing an essay uh, because we give you a template and you all you need to do is put some words phrases some ideas and then you'll be done the word count is 200 to 300 words when you cross 200 you are done you don't have to think that oh getting 280 words or 250 words um, will give you more marks no it's not like that it's a computer make sure you are within the word count the time that you get is 20 minutes uh, generally i finish an essay in seven minutes but as a student i do recommend all of you to finish your essay in 13 minutes if it's possible with your typing and generating ideas so 13 minutes it is and the rest seven minutes you check your answer relax take this test very gently very lightly okay uh, but whereas if you are not prepared enough, then you will not even finish your test uh, essay in 20 minutes. Now, this is how it looks. So summarize written text. Uh, there's a passage and you'll have a box where you can write your answer. There is uh, an option of cut, copy, paste. Just in case you make mistakes, uh, you can cut and copy paste. Uh, total word count will also be given on the bottom. So you don't have to you know, count it manually. Once you're done, click next. Then this is the essay. There are a lot of questions online, so you don't have to fear like, oh, what kinds of questions will I get? Because everything is available for free online. But do remember that just having a look at an essay question and literally doing it yourself are two like poles apart. So just don't look at the questions. Do it. Take your time and do it. OK, uh, and check, make sure that you check. Don't let the computer check it. You check it and make sure that you know where your mistakes are. Correct them and then click next. All right. Now, moving ahead, we have another module that is reading. Uh, reading has five question types. The first one 
is a drag and drop. Uh, this is a fill in the blanks question. So there'll be a passage and you'll have to fill in the blanks uh, using your contextual knowledge, grammar, vocabulary and collocation skills. So these four skills are vital here, uh, especially context. Even if you don't have enough grammar knowledge, if you understand the context, if you have the vocabulary to understand it, then you will get the answers right anyway. However, if you are very weak in grammar, I would do suggest taking some grammar lessons. Uh, I have other videos before this uh, from chapter 1 to chapter 12. You can watch them and uh, then sharpen your skills a little bit more so that in the exam you're not confused with the questions and you know you have that confidence that oh I got it right. Uh, there'll be four to five questions and uh, mind you that this is one of the important questions in reading. To revise, this is our drop down question where you are given blanks like these and uh, you will and the options will be given here on the bottom. So all you need to do is drag, for example, I think there are dash out there, there are aliens out there. So if I think aliens is the answer, I'll just drag it and drop it in that blank. If I'm not happy with my choice, I'll just undo it by dragging it down again. Um, next question is, oh, also remember here, uh, note here that on the top right hand corner there are a number of tasks given and also a timer will be given here. Uh, going to the next question we have multiple choice question multiple answer. Uh, only one to two questions will come so don't be surprised if you just get one question and you go next and you see reorder paragraphs or what's happening. Yeah this is the format of the test so you get one or two of them. Um, now we in the class suggest not doing this question but if you know that your reading is perfect and uh, you can get the answers effortlessly then go ahead and do it but do not spend a lot of time because it doesn't have any significant marks without doing this question still we can get 90 so this is how irrelevant it is um and, and generally multiple choice question multiple answer will ask you to choose more than one response and they will mostly be confusing. So it's like a trap question, a trick question where the examiner wants you to give most of your time here, whereas the actual hero of the question set is somewhere else. So this is just like a sidekick, it's not important. Um, next question type is reorder. In the reorder paragraphs, you see uh, a paragraph but jumbled. So you'll have to make sure that you understand the passage, the sentences, and put them in the right order, in the right sequence. Uh, two to three questions will come in the test. Mm, and it's important one. You must do it properly. Uh, I'm not saying you need to get 100% right, because if you get 100% right, you get 90. And most of us don't need 90. It's good if you get it. But uh, at least we try to get two to three pairs correct. Two pairs correct if there are four sentences. Three pairs correct if there are five sentences. So focus on the pairs rather than the sentences. Um, as the marks are allocated for pairs. Uh, next question after reorder is multiple choice questions single answer so remember multiple choice multiple and multiple choice single single answer means there's only one option right and uh, you will need to do it uh, in a fair manner you don't have to again spend a lot of time here but i would suggest giving a little effort here a little bit like half of that that you provide to reorder, but just try and solve this in a very short duration. Uh, so one to two questions will come uh, and you will have reading marks here um, for multiple choice, multiple single answer. Uh, and only one answer is right. I forgot to tell you there's negative marking in multiple choice question, multiple answer. Okay, so this is the single one where the question is written the intense middle class intensely yearns for blah 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 so you have to go to the passage find out that keyword intense middle class yearns something like that and then from there you read a little bit and uh, find the right answer uh, obviously there could be synonyms used 
or a different way of saying the same thing so you have to spot that okay uh, and the last question type is called drop down and this is like a showstopper i like to call them showstopper there's one showstopper um, still left in our listening question module but here in reading there's the showstopper that means if you don't get it right the chances that your writing will be affected hugely not just by a bit but hugely and reading will also be affected greatly uh, so what to do in order to improve this um grammar collocations where is the collocation where are where, where should i read collocations there are collocations in literally every article in literally everything that you read so you just have to observe those collocations and understand that okay this word goes with this okay uh, grammar context to improve your contextual knowledge go ahead and read uh, something a big paragraph not just a short one a big paragraph like a novel and try to improve from there okay that's for contextual and vocabulary you can't learn vocabulary overnight you it's a constant process and um, you know it depends on how uh, regularly you practice so per day okay i learned these many vocabulary and because of vocabulary in the test Mm, the right the, the, your answers could be wrong because you didn't know this meaning of the word okay uh, so yeah question number five to six there will be five to six drop down questions and uh, please finish one of them in 2.5 minutes do not take over that okay uh, as I already said you get reading and writing marks people do complain that no matter how much I try I can't go, go I can't improve my drop down and that's simply because of lack of reading so keep reading read a lot uh, you will get you will get those answers right once your level goes from here to there on the top right hand side there you see 10 by 14 that means how many questions are left you are on the 10th so 11 12 and 13 14 so four questions are left to solve those four questions how much time do i need minimum eight minutes if because these are all drop down minimum eight minutes and maximum 12 minutes okay uh, so remember you need to estimate accordingly if you just have six minutes left at the end and there are four more questions to do and you start panicking and just choosing random options um, eventually you will get wrong answers so you do your time management from the beginning not towards the end okay from the beginning they won't give you extra time um so you click next and you get another module back to back which is listening so for the listening question uh, there are eight question types uh, it's hard sometimes to even memorize which questions you are getting uh, so eight question types and please memorize it memorize the question types the first question type they'll give you is summarize spoken text now what is summarize spoken text remember we did in writing summarize written text uh, it's similar but here it's not a paragraph it's an audio so you have to listen to an audio or sometimes they will also give you a video so audio video whatever then from there whatever you heard whatever your knowledge tells you that they are talking about they want to the examiners want you to write a summary out of it a computer will not recognize if you are really writing the summary or just writing the format putting some words down okay they won't understand so 10 minutes uh, for uh, for the entire task and includes this in, also includes the audio if the audio is for one minute you will have nine minutes to write uh, listening plus writing marks uh, so now you'll find that writing is highly linked here if your writing is low it's most probably because of listening not because of an essay however there are like i, I can't say without looking at your specific uh, scorecard or performance um, but that's what general observation is that if your writing is bad your marks are low uh, it's also because of listening uh, you will get one to two questions. Yes, don't forget the word count. Don't be confused with summarized written text. 
the word count here is 50 to 70. Do not write 71. Um, next question type is highlight correct summary. Uh, so again, it is related to summary. Here, you don't have to write a summary. They will give you four summaries. Out of four summaries, only one summary is right. You will have to pick that summary. Okay, so remember, this is not like our summary where we write, use a template. This is like a real summary that um, after listening to the audio, you have to understand what they are actually saying. Um, timing, I would say 40 seconds here, not more than that. Uh, if It's better if you can do it in, even in lesser, you know, like 30 seconds. One to two questions. Uh, then comes select like, missing words. Uh, it only gives you listening marks. So wherever it says listening only, you only have listening marks. It's not integrated with another module. Uh, 10 seconds. Why 10 seconds? Because um, missing words are kind of like natural kind of question. As soon as they finish the audio, you will open your eyes. You will see this option and you'll find that, oh, that's the right answer. So that means not even 10 seconds. It should be around two seconds for a very good listener. You won't even have to go for 10 seconds. And even if you do, the audio is not going to repeat itself. So hello, you have to finish it within that 10 seconds. Otherwise, you're just missing. You're just losing time. OK, so click next. Um, one to two of them will come. Uh, multiple choice question, single answer. Uh, like in reading, same here. Options will be given. You have to listen to the audio and then choose the right option. Only one option is right. Uh, do not spend more than 20 seconds here, 20 to 30 seconds, and you should be done. Next question time is fill in the blanks. Little more important than the um, other ones, multiple choice and select missing words. This is a bit uh, important because it has writing marks. Um, so careful with your spelling. Be careful with the word. If they say escape, you write E-S-C-A-P-E, not S-C-A-P-E. If they say expect, you write E-X-P-E-C-T, not uh, A-C-C-E-P-T. If you are somebody who's not confident with the spellings, not you have to recheck your spellings or not confident with typing, uh, then go ahead and write it on the notebook and take one minute to transfer your answer. If you take a lot of time, more than one minute, not worth it. You know, you're, you're going to miss more questions in the end. Uh, the next question is highlight incorrect words. And in this question, so you read the prompt, okay? Highlight incorrect words. They'll give you some incorrect words and you have to highlight. A transcript will be provided. And in that transcript, they will deliberately give you wrong words. Just click it with the mouse. Uh, use the mouse very efficiently. If you are stuck at the first word, but the audio has gone and, you know, you're lagging behind, you can't move forward, the words will you won't get the right words there and 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 don't forget that it has negative marking okay so two questions that have negative marking here multiple choice multiple answer and this one highlight incorrect words now moving ahead we just have two questions left multiple choice multiple answer mm, like in our reading it wasn't important same thing here it has negative marking yet it's not important uh, without even doing it you can get 90 uh, I've got 90 without even touching this question, okay? And I can vouch that this is the least important question in the entire test. So um, anyway, the audio will be played anyway. Uh, you can't skip the audio. So listen to the audio. Look at the options. Try to pick whichever is the closest. So do not choose two options here. If you do, you'll get plus one, minus one, and zero. Uh, the last question. And remember I told you the showstopper? Yeah, the showstopper is right from dictation. If you get three sentences in right from dictation, it's like getting three essays, okay? It's so important. Um, now, listening marks definitely, but you also get writing marks. Uh, do not neglect this question. And how to improve it? It's similar to repeat sentence. So remember I told you in repeat sentence, you have to keep listening to the native speakers, audios, podcast, same thing here. Keep listening to the audio podcast, uh, movies, and uh, there are plenty of uh, practice materials available online. You can use them. 
uh, do not depend on the repeated questions uh, there are chances when you get 18 words in a sentence and you are like oh my god what ha what just happened because you could just get two or three words uh, so prepare for the harder questions not the easier ones easier ones are anyway easy so prepare for the harder ones uh, even if you are just targeting 50 so prepare well right from dictation is not something that you'll say oh i'll do it anyway you know it doesn't matter i can do it well there are people who say oh, they just read it for two days three days and they got the score it's all because their skills their english skills are good already they just needed to know the format like this video they just watched this video for one hour and they're ready because they know uh, the, they have the basics of English. So if you are somebody who has a very weak um, knowledge, uh, you know, in English you are a little behind, then I would recommend reading books, watching movies, listening to podcasts every single day. Okay, this is my genuine advice. Uh, so write from dictation, you get listening plus writing and um, yeah, so all in all, that's listening for you. And uh, I'll just jump on to the question um, here. This is for summarized spoken text. You will hear a short lecture. You'll have to write a summary in 50 uh, to 70 words. So why am I showing this to you? Because there are no places where they say highlight incorrect words, fill in the blanks. Yeah, you will have to identify. Uh, so here they say click on the paragraph that best relates to the recording so click on the paragraph when they say paragraph this is highlight correct summary okay then another question uh, you will hear a recording the last word or group of words has been replaced by a beep so beep means there's something missing in the end and that's called select missing words uh, next one is only one response is correct this is multiple choice question only one answer means single answer next one is you will hear a recording type the missing words in the in each blank so this is very clear when you look at it you know that this is filling the blanks mm, another one is highlight incorrect words so here's the transcript in the transcript you will see there are some words that are different so if you read this what would the world look like if extreme climate change becomes quality is this quality it has to be reality isn't it so this word is incorrect you click that with your mouse and you are done you just leave it like like that move on so no need to take notes just use your mouse and complete it then we have this question which is more than one response is correct meaning this is multiple choice multiple answer um yeah don't do it and don't use your brain a lot of brain to do it then the last question type uh, the showstopper is right from dictation three to four of them uh, remember i told you in reading you just look at the top right here and if you see that there's 11 by 11 this is the last question you are almost done here but if you see it's 12 by 13 that means one uh, more question is left now here we are in 11 by 11 so if you have two minutes left you can take the entire time to check your answer make sure that every spelling is right that's it so how was it did you understand everything that i said um what else do you want to know about it as i said for formats and strategies um you can buy a toolkit where i've guided everything from top to bottom from zero to hundred from a to z okay and we've given everything in that toolkit uh, which for a minimum price uh, if not you are not somebody who can watch the videos and improve yourself then you can join our classes uh, we are based in sydney but we also have classes in Kathmandu. so wherever you are even you can take online classes if you like if you are not near our centers you can take online nowadays online classes have become so popular um, and also check out our Facebook and Instagram for some uh, testimonies where students have said they have shared their experience. It makes us feel very proud to have those many students uh, getting their scores every single day. And you can be one of them if you join us. Uh, do let us know 
by messaging us visiting us calling us all the details are down below uh, in the end i would like to say all the best for the upcoming test make sure that you are prepared well and uh, don't just go for the sake of taking the test because the test is not very cheap uh, so be careful and utilize your resources your time your money uh, properly thank you so much this is anusha signing off and do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that we get motivated and we give you more content in the upcoming days see ya